Scene Script Have you ever wondered what it would be like if the chess pieces came to life, each with their own character and story? Let's wander into the kingdom of Chessland, where the mighty king and his cunning queen rule over the 64-square battlefield. The king, a towering figure with a crown gleaming in the sunlight, holds an air of regal authority. He rules with wisdom and patience, a steady hand guiding the fate of his dominion. His every move is measured, his every decision is calculated. Yet his power is finite, reserved. He can only move one square at a time, a symbol of his deliberate and careful rule. Beside him stands the queen, the epitome of grace and cunning. She's his most trusted advisor, his fiercest protector, and his deadliest weapon. She can move in any direction, forwards, backwards, sideways, diagonally, and as many squares as she pleases. Her movements are a dance, a ballet of power and elegance that captivates and terrifies. She is the most powerful piece on the chessboard, a testament to her strategic brilliance and lethal prowess. Together, they form a formidable pair. The king, with his stately demeanor and regal authority, provides a solid, unshakable foundation. He is the heart of the kingdom, the piece that all others strive to protect. His survival is paramount, for if he falls, the kingdom falls with him. The queen, with her quick thinking and versatile movements, is the brain of the operation. She is the offensive and defensive powerhouse, capable of swift attacks and strategic retreats. Her ability to move across the entire board allows her to strike fear into the hearts of their opponents, while also shielding her king from danger. The dynamic between the king and queen is a dance of power and strategy. He is the steadfast ruler, she is the agile strategist. He is the regal authority, she is the cunning advisor. Together, they navigate the battlefield, their combined strengths, forming the backbone of their kingdom. While the king stands tall with authority, it's the queen who dances around the battlefield with deadly grace. Moving away from the royal couple, we find the knights and the rooks, each bringing their unique flavor to the game. Let's delve into the fascinating world of these pieces. The knights. Ah, the knights. They are the embodiment of mystery and unpredictability. Picture them as noble warriors on horseback, charging across the battlefield in a unique L-shaped leap. The white knight, Sir Lancelot, is renowned for his daring charges and honorable conduct. His black counterpart, Morgana, captivates with her enigmatic aura, her calculated strikes sending shivers down the spine of her foes. Their moves hold the promise of a thrilling conquest or a strategic retreat, and every chess enthusiast watches their maneuvers in awe. Yet the game of chess is not just about unpredictability, it's also about strength and stability. This is where the rooks come into play. These formidable castles stand sentinel on the corners of the board, unyielding and sturdy. The white rook, Sir Roland, is like a mighty fortress. His massive stone walls providing shelter and protection to his allies. Contrastingly, the black rook, Xerxes, is an aggressive powerhouse, demolishing all obstacles in his path as he seeks to breach enemy lines. The rooks, with their unwavering commitment to their cause, symbolize the steadfastness that is often the key to victory. So you see the knights and the rooks, while vastly different, both enrich the game. The knights, with their unpredictable leaps and bounds, keep the opponents on their toes, while the rooks, with their unyielding strength, serve as the bulwarks that can withstand the fiercest of attacks. They add depth to the game, their unique movements and roles contributing to the intricate dance that takes place on the 64 squares. The knights, with their unexpected moves, and the rooks, with their formidable strength, add layers of intrigue and strategy to the game. They are the unsung heroes, the ones who often turn the tide of the battle, making chess the captivating game that it is. In the grand scheme of the chessboard, the bishops and pawns too hold their ground with unique abilities. The bishops, robed in wisdom and faith, glide diagonally across the squares. Their influence is subtle yet profound as they guide the strategies from behind the scenes. Just like the wise elders in ancient societies, they do not seek the limelight, but provide the much-needed counsel and direction. These are not mere pieces on a board, but spiritual guides. Their divine presence shaping the course of the battle. On one side we have the white bishop, Serafina, embodying purity and hope. Her moves inspire the allied pieces, instilling in them a sense of optimism even in the face of adversity. On the other side, the black bishop Malachi is a master of shadows, his dark tactics leaving the opponents bewildered. 
His moves are like a riddle wrapped in a mystery, confounding the foes and creating opportunities for his allies. Now let's turn to the foot soldiers of the chess realm. The pawns, humble yet determined, these pieces may seem insignificant at first glance, but underestimate them at your peril. They can only move forward, reflecting the spirit of progress and adaptability. Each pawn is a testament to the saying, Ambition is the path to success. Persistence is the vehicle you arrive in. They fight valiantly, dreaming of glory and honor. The pawns know that even the least among them can transform into a force to be reckoned with. Reaching the opposing side, they ascend to greatness, promoted to any other piece upon reaching the eighth rank. This is a story of rags to riches, a testament to their relentless pursuit of glory. The bishops and pawns, each with their unique abilities and roles, contribute to the grand saga that unfolds on the chessboard. With the bishop's divine influence and the pawns' relentless pursuit of glory, the battlefield becomes a stage for an epic drama. As the battles rage on, an important realization dawns upon the pieces of Chessland. Amidst the grandeur of the king, the cunning of the queen, the mystery of the knights, the strength of the rooks, the wisdom of the bishops, and the ambition of the pawns, they all understand a profound truth. Each piece, despite their differences, their unique movements and varied roles, contributes to the intricate and beautiful dance that is chess. The king's regal authority, the queen's strategic brilliance, the knight's daring leaps, the rook's steadfast defense, the bishop's spiritual guidance, and the pawn's relentless progress, all weave together the rich tapestry of the game. Their unity in diversity, their harmonious coexistence on the 64 squares, creates a symphony of strategy, skill, and suspense. In the end, every piece in Chessland, from the mighty king to the humble pawn, plays a vital role in creating the captivating tapestry of the game we all love, chess.